Welcome back to Dave the Diver. The weather has changed, friends, but we are going to go to the sea people first. We'll just finish up some little side missions and we'll speak to Tanzin. And we'll see how different it is when the weather's like this. I really hope there's something different. Oh, did you want something else? Oh no, this is Return to Mima. Oh ho ho, thanks to you, Dave, I'm able to open the restaurants again. It looks good. Um, I don't want to call this repayment of debt, but I was thinking of making food that humans can eat. Really, Mima? Hey, I'm a better cook than any other sea person. I'm sure my food will surprise even humans. I mean, I do need to experiment. Oh ho ho. I'll tell you when it's ready. Look forward to it. Marvelous. That's cool. Do you have anything else to say? Hehehe, <laughs> human. I've been hearing some good things about you. They've been saying they're reevaluating humans. Hehehe. <laughs> they may be a little stiff backed, but the people here are all good hearted. Come over often. Hehehe. <laughs> Marvelous. Food, eh? Hmm. Beluga. Get the beluga. I like the cute noises it makes. That heals my soul. <laughs> uh. Let's see if I got anything for this. Uh, opal? Yeah. Damn, I'm good. Okay, these are all in progress. Look at the map. Yeah. Farmer might have something for us now. Whee! <laughs> oh, human! The seaweed farm is ready. I see you got some seaweed seeds. Wanna try planting them? Gumo Seaweed Farm opened. Achievement? You can cultivate many different seaweeds at Gumo's farm. Seed breeding is available at Kazan Seed Shop. Okay. How? <laughs> uh, you gonna speak to him again? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cute. Can cultivate special cup with a very chewy texture. Yeah? Uh... How do I select it? Level 1. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, oh, that's- okay, that's what you can put the bay towards. Open that! Expanding. Oh, it needs like a day. Can I buy some seeds from you? We need sea grapes. Uh, let's get two. Oh, you're so cool. This is the best. With the dugong. Plant that one. Open that up. <laughs> so we're ready for it. Very cool. Maybe it just takes a day to grow. Looks like I don't need to like remove seeds. Not remove seeds, remove um weeds, sorry. <gasps> Yay! It's so cute. Love it. Okay. Uh tens in. I, I want to look at them. My okay. Well, let me. That's all right. Just seeing if there's anything else I need to do. Just the blacksmith. I want to check. That's the same. I thought you were gonna open up something for me. Oh no, I need to deliver opal. I have one opal short. Nuts. I just need one. No worries. All right. Well, main mission time. Oh, oh, are you okay, cutie pie? Oh, what the hell? Oh, you have returned, human. The abandoned cave is an old, abandoned sea people storage. The glacial passage key is in that place. Suwam will guide you. Godspeed. Oh, I thought you fled, human. Suwam, the best warrior of the sea, people will guide you to that place. Follow me. Is he, though? So it tells me we're gonna have to save him in a hot second. Uh, 
Oh, that's why that's blocked. Here, human, go bring me the glacier passage key. Hmm. So dreary and dark. Why is this place locked away anyway? Hmm, I'm not sure. I heard stories about some some crazy sea people locked up somewhere, though. I heard the insane ones attacked other sea people. That was like a thousand years ago. Sea people only live about 300 years, so don't worry. Hmm, I'm nervous. Are you coming with me? I am the best warrior of my people. You want me to do such a mundane task? I will stay here and protect the area. Hurry up and bring me the key. I knew you wouldn't go in. Coward. It's hidden in one of the deepest areas. Look for a room with a mural. Let me know when you're ready, human! Like right now? Why are you giving me an opportunity to think about my actions? I don't really care, let's just do it. <laughs> I'm like wondering if this will take me back to the to the boat, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh. Oh, it's cold. The key should be deeper inside. A room with a mural, if I remember correctly. Fine glacial passage key. Oh, these are cute. There's a ball. <laughs> Oh, there is someone here. What a cute sea bream. It must have come through that small crack. Oh, there's statues. <gasps> what the hell? You're kidding. Like a zombie mermaid. Holy cow, what is that? The ancient sea people Su Wam talked about? They're still alive. It's fortunate that they are still locked in the cells. I should not draw their attention. What if I have to go in there, though? What the hell? Oh, this, this ain't right. Suddenly, like, turned into blasphemous. You know? Whoa. I mean, I, I don't think they're undead. They, they might just be a little crazy, but... Let's not upset them. Well, this is like a mural. This must be the room Suwam talks about where the mural is. But where's the key? This picture seems to imply something. Maybe this is just a map to where the key is. Oh. No, there's symbols on the rocks. Ah, oh, do you want me to arrange them according to height? I understand. So that one should just go there. This one you want to be a bit taller. Don't need to make it straight. I'll make it slightly straighter if I, if I can. <laughs> the key to the key. Oh, I hit it. <laughs> Hang on. Fix it, Dave. Fix it, me. lined up, huh? <laughs> there we go. Easy peasy. <sighs> A bit worried about what's gonna happen when I grab this. Oh, the device. That must be the glacial passage key. What a creepy place. I better pick up the key and quickly leave. At last, playing that artifact hunting adventure game plays off. Tomb Raider? The movie was not that great though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Shall I return to the Sea People Village now? I'm guessing you're talking about either Tomb Raider or um What was the other one? What was that called? It was also like Tomb Raider. I think it had Tom Holland in it. And Mark Wahlberg. Oh no. Shit, what the hell is that game called? Forget. Oh no, another earthquake. I heard something crumbling. Oh no. Alright, let's go. I probably didn't need that really. A 
Question mark. Uh oh. Oh my lordy. Okay, I don't think they're that bright. No, the exit is blocked. Now the sea monsters have come out. I must avoid them without getting caught. Oh no. Gadon? Is the name of ancient sea people who are mutated for some reason. <laughs> no guns or knives can kill them. Escape the cave without being spotted. Great, now we're doing a stealth mission. <sighs> Alrighty. That ain't good. I just need to understand what their line of sight is. I think they can only look like left or right, I assume. Mm, I don't think I can pass here. What if I hide behind the stone statue over there? I will go unnoticed. Hide behind a stone statue to avoid being seen by Gadon. Use the stone statue when you're in danger. Oh, oh look at Dave just poking his head out like a cutie. I know we're in danger, so... Oh. What is that noise? What the actual fuck? Ah, okay, don't, don't touch him. Is it, is it this way? Oh. I'm not really sure which way. How am I doing? Okay. Oh! Go, Dave, go! I guess there's a few ways you could go. Okay. Yeah. Shit, I can't remember the name of that goddamn movie. Oh well. <sighs> Bah, I knew Su Wan was not going to wait for me. Anyway, I got the key. Now I must return to... Or Su Wan is in trouble. Why is there a sub? It better not be that guy. Oh god. Yeah. It's, um... Francis from Left 4 Dead. <laughs> Francis from Bill. I think it's Francis. Wait! <laughs> You're robbing graves now, as if destroying the environment wasn't good enough. Huh? That is the Sea Peoples. Be quiet. Whoever harms the Great Sea will have to contend with Sea Blue. And I, in the wrath of I, John Watson, heal my eco-friendly Sea Blue armor RX-93 and its power. Sounds like a graphics card. Don't, you don't want to do that. Oh no. Oh, at least I can't get out. You are an environmental disaster! You're gonna pay now! You're a disaster! John Watson! <laughs> just don't mind, I'm just gonna scream. <laughs> no matter of words can save that thick skulled moron. That suit looks very tough. No bullets will penetrate it. No bullets? Oh. No bullets will. Oh, I get ya. I gotcha. Oh, the missiles are slowing down? If only I could direct it at him, is exactly what I'm doing. Is there anything that can deflect the missiles? The harpoon, maybe? You're so goddamn rude. Ah! No, that's what I get for calling you rude, I guess. Let's see what's in these quickly. Hang on, he's charging me. I need more oxygen as well. Oh, 
I'm trying. Not quite. Let's just use this as an opportunity to get more oxygen. Oh, fuck you, dude. Oh, no. Oh, I'm, I'm actually screwed. Yeah. If I can't get this oxygen, I'm screwed. Just got it. No, that doesn't work. Um, I could try hitting it with my knife. The hard part is just figure out, figuring out what I need to do. There's a bat. That's probably it. Okay. Even my armor can't negate the firepower of my hyper blaster. That was a nice trick, but this one now. Ah, shit balls, dude. Just keep some distance between them. Should be fine. Okay, he's launching it. need to be closer. So that's not gonna work, so don't do that. I just don't want to waste too much oxygen. <laughs> oh dear. Let's not touch those. I'm not sure if a bat would work on that. He's blocked the exit. Fair enough. No, oh, he's already launched one. That's probably a bit too far. Oh, <laughs> I tried. I might get the oxygen soon. Maybe when I'm halfway. I'm almost halfway. Damn, this is a bit slow winded, this one. What can you do? Okay. <sighs> Two hours later. I should be okay just here. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, I can do this. There we go. Probably have to do one more though. I'm a bit slow, but at least I got it. <laughs> ah, grrr. My eco-friendly sea blue armor RX-93 is. I can't forgive you destroying nature. Mumbles as he drowns. Mumbles. Watching you. Blah, 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 blah. Dude. <laughs> You're a trade wreck.
You are tenacious. He was wearing high-tech diving gear. Should I bring it to Cobra? He may find useful parts out of this. That's a great idea. Sure. Hmm. I see a bunch of complex mechanical parts. I should pick up some samples. It's time to deliver the glacial passage key to Tenzin. Ah, so this is gonna take me back? That's not a problem. Oh, you actually brought me the glacial passage key. Suwam told me that he cleared the area and the key is free to be picked up, but I guess it took you some time? Um, I almost got eaten by nasty sea monsters. Are you telling me you've seen Gadons? Are they still alive? Gadons? Gadons? Hmm, this is the dark history of the sea people. You want to hear it? I have a short version, a long version. Which one do you want to hear? Uh, obviously the long one. Good. I'm going to tell you the story of Gaddens, okay? About 800 years ago, the Gaddens were at the pinnacle of their civilization. Our ancestors had many devices far more technologically advanced than that of our humans, that of humans in the old days. These advanced technologies allow them to live in a peace and prosperity. It was all possible due to the divine tree fruits. These fruits provided the perfect balance of temperature and energy, and they lasted so long. The fruits that could only grow in the deep sea were like a blessing to our ancestors, however... There are always those who are blinded by greed. Uh, I'm not sure how you say this, Das... Dasche? Dasche? One of the senior technicians wanted to apply the powers of the fruits beyond mundane purposes. He, he processed the fruits secretly and used them to modify the anatomy of the sea people. You modified the bodies of your ancestors. Yes, it all went well in the beginning. Modified individuals exhibited strength uh, far exceeding that of our ordinary sea people. But Dashe, Dashi, I don't know, was not satisfied with modifying the fruits and wanted to go further. He wanted to extract energy directly from the divine tree. To do so, he began to infuse the extracted energy into an ancient creature called ya Yawi? Yawi? Well, I don't understand everything, but it definitely sounds dangerous. Did King Long know about that? At that time, King Long was busy with the tasks of building the control room to ensure a steady supply of resources from the tree. He was puzzled at the increased performance of the workers, but he had no clue what was going on. Then one day... The bodies of those infused with the energy of the tree began to exhibit weird changes. Their body turned pale, and their limbs twisted. They became so violent that they began to attack other sea people. So they are monsters. Those are, they are the monsters I encountered earlier. Fortunately for us, the mutated ones hate light, so they don't come near the village. King Long himself went into the control room, captured the Gadons, and locked them up in the abandoned cave. In the course of suppressing them, King Long suffered fatal wounds and later died. But it happened about 800 years ago, and I didn't even know the Gadons are still alive. That means, maybe, some of them may still be roaming the glacial passage. You're expecting me to go there. I beg you, the sea people have been weakened by our ranching, our ranching lifestyle. Right now, you're the only one we know who can help us find the cause of the earthquake and temperature rise happening in the glacial area. <sighs> okay, fine. Thank you, human brother. Oh, and take this. It is my gift for you. Here, take this. Sea people's necklace. Wear this and the two worms in the deep sea will retreat. Oh, that's nice. You know, those strange worms that look like sticks. <laughs> That's it for now. You must be tired. Have a good rest and meet me tomorrow. I will tell Su Wam to guide you to the entrance of the glacial passage. Necklace. Ah, <sighs> very good. Okay. So we'll do that tomorrow. Mm, looks like you've made yourself quite well known in the village. Even so, don't go about doing your own thing. Help the villagers. Tips on fighting the Gadons? <laughs> of course, it's only natural for you to seek a piece of advice from a great warrior and strategist like myself. 
Now listen carefully. The most important thing is not to encounter them in the first place. That doesn't help. Uh, minimizing the risk is the best tactic. You didn't know that. I mean, that's fair. You should avoid them, but sometimes it'll be unavoidable. Mm. I think we need more upgrades if we're gonna go to an icy area. A, A, A. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> God, I sort of got in my memory. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're just doing some side things. Yeah, no one really wants anything right now. Hmm. That's cool. That means I can just do whatever. Whatever I want. Okay, if that's the case, let's... Yeah, let's just get some side things. That's why the weather is different. I want to see if there's anything different in the ocean, because it's stormy. Yeah, let's just get a skull. And we just need an opal and a skull. That's it. Hello. Dismantle. Yeah, hopefully this won't take too long. Yeah, because we have to do a night dive. I, I really don't want to forget the night dive. I assume your submarine is gone, sir. Yeah. Interesting tactic with the bat. Yeah, I think um, your window of opportunity was a bit um, short. Like, it was a long pause in between, like, waiting for the mines to appear. I will say that. That's fine, though. I've, I've seen worse, trust me. <laughs> I really thought he was gonna drown though. And then we would have to like save him. Oh. <laughs> what was it? What was that? Bomb, this is a proximity bomb. Efficiency. Thing like using bobs of the ocean. Oh, I got a jawbone from that. That's different. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Oh no no no! Sorry. Don't want to waste a bullet on you. Oh, then again, there's ammo right there. Alrighty. I'll waste a bullet. <laughs> and it's dead. Don't hit me. Don't do it. Ah, it's, it's okay. I'm good. Though my nose is getting kind of itchy. Oopsie. Pickaxe, do I? Let's find one. I only need a opal. An opal, even. Don't do it. I don't think I need. Oh, I keep thinking that I need amethyst. I don't think I do at all. There you go. Miso. I might find the skull near those bones. Crap. Yeah, I really need to find a pickaxe. Oh, I thought I missed for a second there. Oh, I need crabs too? Alright. Uh, all right. Uh, I should be okay. I've got way more oxygen now. Ammo. 
Jellies. <laughs> no, I need a pickaxe, please. I might just end up shooting this. Like, with a gun. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Sure. Level three? That one I might shoot. <laughs> uh, apparently I killed two of them. I guess you have to use a net for that, huh? That's crazy. Where the hell? Oh, there. I was gonna say, where the hell's the opal? And of course it's right there. Please have a pickaxe in that box. Yay! It's so nice game. Good. Alrighty, um, I don't mind what we do now. Like, I'm happy to, like, just go back to the boat if we need to. Um, biggest way is probably down this way. Yeah, I don't think I need... Yeah, I just need the bones, but I, can, I can't seem to find them. That's alright. Do it next time. Or I can just keep going back up. I don't mind. What's my weight at? Uh, I know what I could do. Hang on. Go this way. Uh, that one. Go in here. I'm gonna do something naughty. Just depends if it's here. I think it is. Is that pretty fish here? The big one that kind of does like poison. Ooh. That's all right. I can dismantle that one. No, I'm not gonna deal with you. That's not what I was looking for. No, it's not here. That's a shame. I'll just shoot you. Ooh, whoa! Oh. Ow. It's dead. <laughs> yeah. The the big rhino fish is what I was hoping was here, but I don't see it. That's alright, we can just go then. Just need that skull. I'm not in any rush to go see the sea people again, so we can just dive here. It's so our level six. Sure. Keep them all. I guess eventually I need to do another race, huh? Maybe tomorrow. Marvelous. Thumbs up. Ooh, the weather's really picking up now. Okay. Let's just dive again. Probably. Fang tooth. What's a fang tooth? Spider crab. Yeah, we can just start working towards all of these. This is okay. It can wait. All right. Uh, you look like you're about to fall off the boat, sir. I just go. Yeah. Is it different? Is it different? The depths seem the same. Whoa! Look at that fucker. Sheep's sheep's head. Or sheep shed. Oh, that's that's pretty. Even did the water effect. What the hell? That's gorgeous. Oh, me like. Yeah, let's do let's do a quick dive. So we're gonna have to do another dive after this. I love the water effect. That's really pretty. <sighs> Oxygen. Yeah, what's uh? It's a big fish we can get. I guess all the the sharks, huh? Ooh. Shocking.
not sure. Hmm, I still need to find the limestone caves again. Been having trouble finding those. I need this one, right? Hell yeah. Oh, here we go. Come to Dave. I'll just shoot it once because that shark is pretty weak. I don't think I need any more seahorse. If I find anything better than a six, like a rank six, I'll take I'll take it. But yeah. That's what we want. Oh, I saw that. Come here. Ooh. Uh, it's only a level one, so I'll dismantle it. Assuming that this barracuda is going to be cool. It's not going to be cool. That's what you get. Ooh, I do 32 damage with my harpoon. And so far the fish don't seem different when the weather changed. It just looks cool. I thought I'm complaining. Oh, that's cute. Kill it. Have I caught you yet? I have to make sure we catch one of everything, right? Nope. Big eye Trevally. Let's catch another one then. Oh, that's a limestone cave. Oh my goodness. Oh, I need brown seashells again. Yeah, because I really want the sea grapes, because you can use it for some pretty nice recipes. And then we can make more money. Perfect. Oh, balls. Oh, actually... Can you take that? Hang on. Because I'm pretty sure... Yeah. Hang on. I'm pretty sure there's jellyfish in this cave. Not that the event is still on or anything, but you know. There we go. Yeah, I haven't seen these jellyfish for ages. Let's grab some. Dead or alive. Put them in the... Put them in the farm. Go to sleep now, yeah. Sleepy times. Thank you. <laughs> so much easier. Now I just have to kill the rest. Hopefully I get some row. Keep killing it. You did? No. Oh yeah. Got a tentacle. Squeaky. Now pick it up. Good. Oh, that's also for research, the sea grape? Oh my lordy, okay. I got somewhere I need to be in like 30 minutes so I can't dally for too long. <laughs> not sure if I'll have time to open up the restaurant today, but I'll try and move it. Just give me all the sea grapes. And a skull. Damn it, <laughs> that's a foot bone.
Oh, look at all of them. Perfect. Good, I've done that. Oh, look, and there's more jellies. Pick it up, sir. Uh oh. Pretty sure there's always like a net gun somewhere here. I don't remember where exactly. Excuse me, coming through. Might just be down here. Yeah, this one. Ah, it's an upgrade. That's okay. Ah, oh, but it does give me ammo for the hush dart though. That's probably enough. Got plenty now. Good. Excellent. Let's um find a way out. Somewhere. Ah, oh, shark. Ah, oh, fucking. It's a barracuda. Is there somewhere I can possibly get a? No, nothing here. Nuts. I could always just swim to the surface. Hey, let's do that. Get me out of here, yeah. I want to quickly get the night dive in, if possible. Oh, here, perfect. Thank you, thank you. Good. Trying to remember what we need for the night dive, though. <laughs> I think I've got enough, so no more seahorses. Thank you. Fish making love. <laughs> What's wrong? Is that an earthquake? Or something big in the water? <sighs> Whoa, a strong earthquake all of a sudden? Mm. The earthquakes are becoming more frequent and intense. I should go check if Banjo Sushi is alright. Oh, I don't get a choice. <laughs> Sir, I am ready to take pictures of manta rays. I heard some lighting guys and made them set up lighting fixtures at the right place. Oh, you must have spent some money. Haha, <laughs> one can't pass up an opportunity like this. They told me that the lighting fixtures were set at depth of 20 meters. Can you please check them out? I expect awesome pictures then. Alright. Mm -hmm. Oh, the storm is getting rowdy. Tonight, the creature that gives a super rare boss card will most likely appear. Doesn't it excite you as a Marinka collector? Not really. Oh, oh, if you go in, if you go in the evening, you'll see the vortex that was created by the storm. You'll find the creature once you go inside the vortex. I would go if my diving skills were better. It's too bad. Then I wish you luck. Oh, oh, oh. A cereal. That's why I need to wait, friends. Stormy night. Now I've got a bunch of things to do now. In this dive? Yeah. Hang on. Um, just quickly... Not that. Marinka. No, that's not the plus on it either. This one. Deliver. Okay. Deliver. Fix that. Fuck yeah. Deliver that one. Keep it coming. Much better. Okay. Yeah, I might have to just do this next time, friends. What's this new equipment that I got? This one. I need to travel through two worm tunnels. <laughs> we always find the UV light, so I'm not that worried about it. You want me to, let's just check on Bancho for a second. Bancho, I felt a big earthquake. Is your place okay? I took some measures against earthquakes after it crumbled last time, but I'm not sure for how long it will withstand a series of strong earthquakes. Is everyone okay? Dr. Bacon? 
I was passing by and wanted to make sure you were all right. But it looks like everyone's okay. Dave, what about the sea people business? Is there any problem? Um, the heat from the ground is slowly melting the ice of the sea people village. And many sea people got sick because of it. To identify the cause, I need to go down to the glacial area that blocks the heat and investigate. But there seems to be eerie monsters down there and I don't feel safe. Oh, that sounds like trouble, Dave. According to the ancient records, sea people are very susceptible to temperature change. You should go down to the glacial area ASAP and find out what's going on there. It would be honorable to sacrifice yourself for the sea people, even if it means getting frozen. Um, excuse me. <laughs> Never mind, we can worry about that tomorrow. Today we feast and have a fun, lucky time. I just heard my cat meowing. Oh, dear. Oh, God. <laughs> Sammy the rap star. What? Oh, I'm tired of giving voices, my man. Um, didn't the manager say he saw someone who looked like Otto around here? Yeah. Hey, chef. May I ask you something? Welcome to Bancho Sushi. You guys sell vegetable sushi here by any chance? Mm. Vegetable sushi? <laughs> Um, we don't have that on the menu. Norimaki sushi is the closest thing to that, though. Not Norimaki sushi. I want sushi made with fresh the fresh veggies. <laughs> well, it's okay then. I'll get going. Have a good one. Shrug. I guess we're gonna expand our farm. Wait. This music. It's hot pepper tuna. The title song from my first album. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking lyrics. This kind of music intrigues me. You must be MC Savvy, I presume. <laughs> you recognize me? <laughs> I'm pleased to see one of my fans here. Could you perhaps make me some vegetable sushi then? <laughs> I can't concentrate with that in the background. We do have some vegetables, but vegetable sushi is not that simple. Give me three days and I will serve you some proper vegetable sushi. Nice, yo! <laughs> I'll come back in three days then. Can't wait! <laughs> I cannot with this game. Bancho, you got any good ideas? Nope. <laughs> what is your plan? Otto knows more about vegetables than I do. I was going to ask him. Ah, that makes sense. I'll give him a call. <sighs> oh, oh no! Hello, Dave, what's up? Oh, one of our customers asked us to make some vegetable sushi, and we need to secure the ingredients for it. Huh? Vegetable sushi? That's one of my favorites. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that customer knows what's what. Give me some time. I'll have to work through the night. I'll call you tomorrow morning. Nice! I'll visit your place in the morning. Oh my god. Hell yeah. White rice, eggplant, and carrot. Okay, I guess we're gonna expand. Friends, um, unfortunately, I am gonna have to take a break here. Um, I do have somewhere I, I need to be and I cannot dally. And I know for a fact that if I go for this evening dive, it's gonna take a long ass time because what's his face was, what's his face? I'm very nice, aren't I? What's his face was mentioning some kind of vortex going into it and that's probably gonna be a boss fight. I'm also doing the thing for the manta ray as well, so I know it'll take a while, and then I still have to open up the shop in the evening, so it's gonna take me too long, and yeah, unfortunately I do need to stop it here. We'll do all that in the next video. Oh my god, these VIPs are so funny. They're so amusing, and oh my god, I just could not keep a straight face when I was like hearing the lyrics of that song, that was fucking funny. You, you developers did such a good job with this game, and I hope you got paid well. Hope I hope you're millionaires. Anyways, time for a break, friends. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. I really appreciate the support. I'm on a few different social media platforms. The links are in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.